Hi, this video will show you how to install and use TextPad for compiling and running Java programs. Uh, TextPad is just a lightweight editor, opens up fast, and it's not an IDE. You don't create projects. You can just open, compile, and run uh, Java files very fast. Uh, it also allows you to run the programs within a command prompt, which I like because um, then I can add color to them. Uh, so to install it, the first thing you need to do is install the JDK, the Java Development Kit. And so just search for JDK Oracle and then uh, go to your downloads and um, the uh, JDK download. And then we're going to install the Windows 64 bit right there and go ahead and let that fully install. And then afterwards, just search for TextPad and then download the latest version of TextPad, uh, the 64-bit version right there. Now, after you do that, then open up TextPad. And um, when you first install it, if you get lucky, it will have already uh, located and hooked up your tools to compile and run your Java programs. But it seems like uh, lately it hasn't been doing that automatically. So this is going to show you how to connect those two tools up, which I think is good because it lets you see how where those programs are on your computer. OK, so to do that, uh, you'll go to Configure Preferences. And then down here to Tools, uh, click on Tools, and then go to Add Program. The first one we're going to add is the Java Compile, which when you install the JDK, that's going to be in your C drive in your Program Files folder, not the x86, that's your 32-bit programs. And then under Program Files, under Java, and then the JDK, and then under Bin or Binary, and here are your executables. Now, if you haven't turned on the file extensions in your file explorer, I highly recommend doing it. Uh, so you may not see the .exes. Uh, so anyway, but we're going to be doing, we're going to use this javac.exe to compile the Java programs. Hook that up. And now we're going to add the run, which is again under the C drive, then under program files, then under Java, under JDK, under bin. And then to run your programs is just java.exe. So go ahead and select that one. Uh, now, uh, go ahead and apply it. And now when you click over here on Tools, and underneath Tools, uh, you can click on each one of these to get more options. You don't need to do anything to the Java compile, but under Java, um, capture output, the, that means that the output of your program comes up down here, which I've had some issues with doing keyboard input down there. Plus, I kind of like the command prompt for different reasons, such, like I said, I can add color to them. Uh, so I uncheck the capture output. Also, close DOS window and exit. If I ran this program right here, it would just pop up my command prompt and then disappear. What that does is do the pause, you know, the press any key to continue. So if you unclick that. So go ahead and apply that. And now when you see up here under tools, you have Java compile. So I'm going to compile it and you can see this gives you the output of the compiler. It tells me I have an error right here on line five, and it points to where that is. So it looks like I'm missing a semicolon. So I'll come up here, put in my semicolon, and then do my Java compile again, and get used to doing the Control-1 and the Control-2. It's real fast that way. And so I compile it, Control-1, and then when I run it, it opens up the command prompt, and there's the output of my program. And enjoy.